Hello, darlings. Uh, more dreams today. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing well. Um, uh, some of you know my original twin is not with me, and there's a lot of um, craziness around that situation, as you might expect. So um, here's the thing. Let me do a reading about the Twin Flame journey right now, and I will filter in the messages I received in a dream last night. Essentially, I was me now, and I was in a situation with my twin 10 years ago in the dream. So there's another person in there that's me, but not me now, right? And um, I'm essentially telling her all of the stuff that's going on and showing her that you know it's time to choose yourself even if it's your twin it's to, time to choose yourself and that this person um, likely has been corrupted and not choosing not choosing himself what I mean that's what I mean by corrupted not choosing himself ever always choosing things that are outside of himself um, to make him happy, things he thinks are going to make him happy, and they never do, for long, anyway. And um, you, some of you might know that I had a dream 10 years ago also where um, death showed up, and I knew it was time to move forward. Last night's dream... Um, uh, the devil showed up and the devil showed up a lot in readings yesterday the devil card and that's why I called this video fallen because uh, the devil is uh, a fallen angel that's why they're soulmates that's why they're here to show us to reflect to us um, things that need to be chosen fixed fixed I don't know fixed is not the right word it's chosen right you choose. You choose to do something that you choose yourself. And the message really here is that if you choose not yourself, you're really choosing this devil energy. You're really choosing to outsource your happiness. You're really choosing to allow others to, even if it's your twin, okay? That's what I want to get across to you because a lot of you who are not choosing yourselves that's one of the lessons that the twin is here to reflect to you, okay? They may unconsciously be doing that. They may not be like, hmm, today I'm going to reflect to you that you need to choose yourself. So let me see how I can do that. No, no, no. They're doing it in an unconscious way. And so the reason I say fallen, besides the fact that uh, devil is the fallen angel, is that um, there's a movie, Denzel, Denzel. John Goodman also. Uh, I miss John Goodman. I'm so sad that, you know, I don't see him as often as I'd like to. Seriously. Um, I also miss Denzel because <laughs> I don't really go to movies anymore and I don't watch that much TV anymore. So anyway, this movie, uh, Fallen, is about two homicide detectives who witness the execution of a very, very evil guy who is inhabited by this devil energy and once that person is executed that devil energy jumps from person to person and so what it's saying to me what that movie says to me is that you know the energy that we explore that we bring out in our lifetimes there's many people who unconsciously are walking walking through life unconsciously and have these uh, I'll say what uh, my friend Jen said to me. They have soul holes in them. So it's not like the whole being, like a serial killer, right? The serial killer is inhabited wholly by that energy of um, salacious and deviant and all of the, you know, very super low vibration things. Most of us walk around unconsciously and we have soul holes in us. And so that's when that energy can get in and take a hold. 
And how you know that or how you prevent that is by always choosing love, right? There's love or fear. There's only two things, love or fear. Always choose love, to act out of love. And always, always choose to be loving to self. If you can remember those two decisions in any situation, okay, choose love, choose to act out of love, and always choose to be loving to self. That's pretty much it. That's how you are on the path to higher vibration. That is how um, you are being loving to self. That is how you are healing old wounds. That is, And so in this dream, I am sharing this information with my 2008 self who doesn't get it at all. <laughs> what? You mean he's, you mean he's this? You mean, you know, whatever. Okay. Uh, essentially a, an angel, a person who is of angelic or is of some sort of spiritual gift who consciously and unconsciously constantly chooses to, to move out of fear, to move to not be self-loving constantly. Okay. So in the movie, the uh, devil energy jumps from person to person and that person gets taken over by these things, you know, and it's like, they don't have free will, right? That's what happens. Like they don't have free will and that's the movie. But what I'm experiencing here is that we all have the conscious capability, all the one, everyone who is in the um, ascension, everyone who has chosen this path, right? Der tag, the day, choosing the path, choosing to be in higher vibration, choosing to act out of love, not out of fear, and choosing to be loving to self. Regardless of training, regardless of religious affiliation, regard, that, is, that is the message of Jesus, really. Most of the, all of the, not most, all of the spiritual leaders, that's their message. It's a message of love. Forget um, conscripted or forget these created dogma, forget that. The central message of Jesus is love. Love one another as I have loved you. Choose to be loving, choose to be loving to self. That's the message, okay? So I'm going to do this reading. Wow, that made me cry. <laughs> um, so the dream was, I'm going to look at my journal here because I journal every day, as you probably know, and I write down all my dreams and I write down stuff so I can refer to them. It is super helpful. Um, so the, especially when it comes to addictions, these are, Things that unconsciously are lodged in these folks, in many folks, and there can be all kinds of addictions, right? Just like there can be all kinds of um, unconditional love or all kinds of, of self-love, all kinds of um, abundance, right? There's all kinds of addictions. Addictions to love and romance, addictions to being chosen, right? Addictions to red vines, licorice, whatever it is. The addiction is that the happiness comes from outside myself. And so the antidote to that is becoming self-loving. All right. It's not about the red vines. It's not about vodka. It's not about gambling. Those are outside things that create situations that release dopamine, that release chemicals in us. That's how people become hooked some things are way more addictive, even to people who don't have addictive personalities, right? Opioids and other things like that. Way more addictive because they work with the body's chemistry. It's beyond your choice, but you have a choice um, about putting something in your body. So, most times. So, this is about... Um, This is about being conscious and mindfulness. This is why mindfulness is so important. Okay, it's not just about being like in the moment, which is really is important. <laughs> but this is about also being conscious of what you put in your body. Conscious. That's why. That's why you hear people like Ralph Smart, Infinite Waters, talking about um, the vegan uh, lifestyle and other kinds of things about natural foods, about natural. Um, uh, 
any kinds of natural um, health care and all that kind of stuff. That's why you see these people talking about this. It's about being closer to nature. Nature is direct from God. So there is that piece. Okay. Um, choosing yourself. The wound that you're healing is because you because of constantly not choosing yourself. And that allows the wound to not be healed. To be healed, choose yourself. Act out of love and choose yourself. Be loving to self. Okay? Give yourself away to people who don't deserve you. You know, you know even giving yourself away to a twin flame philosophy is essentially outsourcing your happiness. That's why when we talk about this, myself and some other folks like Gold Ray Twin Flames who talk about the self, talk about the connection, talk about the being in alignment with God. We talk about these things. That's why, because the relationship piece of this is really only after you've done all this and become in high vibration. That's when that shows up. So to focus on that, it's sort of like outsourcing your happiness, right? It's, it's, Choosing some that somebody else will bring you happiness. You have to bring yourself happiness first before that shows up. Okay? So don't outsource that. Um, there was something here um, about when I saw this devil energy as a human in that dream, the person was wearing a hat just like when I saw death in that other dream. It was wearing, it was wearing this it was wearing this sort of hat, and the head was smaller than it should have been. That's how I knew it was like a malformed energy, okay? It was like physically representing itself to be, wow, that struck me. And I was like, oh, he's in here looking for this twin to overtake again. And so battling that, this literally is like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This literally is battling the forces of good and evil, right? It is, it is the battle between those two things. And the good, the good, all right, whatever we term as good, is really about being loving. Choose love. Choose love. Always choose love. To choose fear, fear is everything that isn't loving, right? It's, it's. It's putting stuff in your body that hurts you. It's choosing to, you know, lie, cheat, steal. Um, it's because those are all, you know, selfishness is a thing that is fear. Fear that I'm not going to get mine, okay? And that's what you see a lot of today. There is this fear of I'm not going to get mine. That's why we're kind of in the mess we're in. So to choose love is the light because that is about, there is abundance everywhere. You're living in fear, these, these folks that you see, living in fear of not getting there. So everybody else has got to be, I've got to get mine and all y'all got to go away because that's going to inhibit. Because there's only one pie and if there's only one pie, that means I only get my slice. And if there's more people taking pie, I get a smaller and smaller slice. No, doesn't work like that. There's abundance of pie. Today's Pi Day, 3.14. I'm saying this on 3.14. It's Pi Day. Make as much pie as you want. There's abundance everywhere, everywhere you look. Every time I go into a Trader Joe's or a grocery store, I look around here in America, and I'm like, look at the abundance that we have here. Look at all that is available to us, right? And yet there's still people who think they can't get theirs. I, I got to get mine, right? There's still that mentality. And what we're working on right now, what the part of the mission of the Twin Flame is to shine the light on the love message. Okay? If there is a chunk of people waiting for Jesus to show up, Jesus has shown up in the Twin Flame message. Okay? Love one another as I have loved you. Okay? Prophet, son of God, whatever you believe about that concept the the message is and that's why we're here now as the light as the little lights 10,000 points of light 100,000 points of light whatever we are it is to spread that message of love and choosing 
to be in a loving posture, choosing to be loved. That is the thing as Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Wonder Woman, right? That is the thing that wards off this devil energy. That is the thing that contains it. At the end of the movie, I hope I'm not spoiling it for you because it is a movie from the 90s and you haven't seen it yet. At the end of the movie, Fallen, um, I forget if it's John Goodman. I think it's Denzel because John Goodman becomes corrupted and then dies. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, but Denzel figures out that the devil energy needs a human host. It can't survive without a human host for very long. And so Denzel goes way out into the woods where there's no people around for miles. And he does battle with that devil energy. He takes it in him. He does battle, right? And shoots himself. So that devil energy has nowhere to go. And it's like frantically looking around for a host, looking around for a host. And this kitty cat walks by. <laughs> goes right into the kitty cat. So... We all, the message too of that movie is, you know, there's a lot of unconscious people walking around that just ex absorb into that devil energy and can be um, unconscious about their life, walking around in fear, walking around in that. This is about you walking around in love. That's what, you know, deflects. <laughs> but you deal, ba you do battle with it every day, right? Choose love. Choose to act out of love, always, love or fear, and choose to be loving to self. So, wow, that was um, a lot more than I thought I was going to say. So, let's see here. Let's do a little reading here. Fallen. So, that makes... Um, <laughs> seeing death and the devil. Oh, my goodness. I know. Well, when the messages show up, they show up. Right? Just however they're going to show up. However they're going to show up. When I asked about me going down this path and doing these uh, kind of things and readings and here on YouTube, I was like, why is anybody going to listen to me? And I definitely heard, because you're just like them. You're normal. You're, you're walking around living a normal life. Yep. All right, guys. So let's see what's going on here. Three of Wands, right underneath it. Ten of Cups, King of Wands. Sometimes the bottom of the deck here, Sun. So, to manifest, this has always been Twin Flame energy to me. Twin Flame energy. This is fire energy about taking action. This is about being mindful, about being awake. King is the highest vibration. Sun. Oh, my word. First card of the deck. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. Keep in mind that that energy jumps from person to person. So when you look at somebody, you're like, how, is that, how am I getting the same messages? How am I having the same lessons taught to me over and over again? That's how. That energy jumps from person to person. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Holy cow. <laughs> okay. All right. So, the devil energy here, you're being told about it right now. You're being told about it right now. The judgment card here about um, doing unto others, coming to a place of reckoning with yourself and reckoning with actions, reckoning with how you're dealing with that energy. This is, this is likely, um, I feel like this is our message today. And Knight of Pentacles, the Virgo energy there about, because there's Virgo Capricorn, about, it's about earthly, um, not really about pleasures, but it's about outsourcing happiness, about outsourcing 
So here's what I'm getting about this. I feel like you are, this person is becoming awakened. Person you're dealing with, the twin energy is becoming awakened. Okay. And they see themselves as like, kind of like, they're a knight right now. Okay. So they're in this um, teenager mentality. This is the most responsible, however, teenager. This is the one that always does his homework. This is the one that you know, comes and knocks on the door and says, ma'am and sir, thank you, and please, and thank you, and all that. So this person is really a good person. They are being challenged, and they're not being loving to self. So now they're being awakened to that idea based on, you know, my dream and what I'm understanding um, to be going on right now. Look at you, man. <laughs> Queen of Sword and Justice bracketing um, the uh, Temperance card. This is really like, you're here to be the, the Sword of Truth. You are here to be, right now, you are here to be the, um, the no-nonsense, no-bullshit um, Sword of Truth. Okay, because this person is going to have questions. Your twin's going to have questions about what's going on here as we get more and more uh, enlightened and more and more people come on line here. This is about coming together. Magician is about taking action. I feel like your twin morphs from that Knight of Pentacles into this magician. Gemini energy here about coming together and walking the path. Um, for some of you, you could walk away from the twin. This is a choice. Lovers is a choice. I've been talking a couple of days now about choice points. Emily gave me that phrase. Choice points or pivot points or um, cro uh, a crossroads at a crossroads. Choosing love or fear. Your twin is at the point of choosing love or fear. Okay. Um, what are you going to do here? Choosing love or fear? Page of Cups, Five of Pentacles. This is fear. Um, this is a very small effort, but look at There's something about um, this twin story that I'm channeling here. For, this is only for a certain twin group where the person chooses money and not... Um, not money that is going to help others. This is money that they are, you know, sort of stuffing in their mattress. This is money that they are holding on to, that they are um, not sharing with the universe, not bringing out, um, you know, money is simply a, a resource, right, that we can use for other people. With the devil energy, this twin um, really is worried about money, and so they're hoarding. This is like a hoarding energy. And they're giving very little. Okay, this is, this is very, very little. Okay, this is very, very little. Not really giving. For the powerful nature of the rest of this reading, I can see for some of you who are understanding that the path is about love, choosing the path of love, and that may mean walking away from that twin if they're not able to embrace the idea that it's about love or fear, there's an abundance of pie, right? There's, there's somebody who is choosing that. So for some of you, this is about, I don't want to say walking away from the twin path because you are definitely walking the twin path, okay? There may be soulmates that come in now if the twin, if your twin chooses to not choose the path of love, instead chooses the path of fear, even though they're being enlightened now, okay? While they're being enlightened, that devil energy is hanging around really strongly. That devil energy is really um, dogging them, I get, okay? So, and they're, sorry, there's a little apology here. Hey, I'm sorry, but I really got to choose what is right for me. 
And what they're doing is they're choosing to, to make a decision out of fear. And it's their old, it's their um, belief system that says, well, I got to choose this. What they're not understanding is they're choosing out of fear instead of shifting into choosing out of love. Choosing out of love may mean to, uh, it's not about like, oh, I'm going to give up all my worldly resources or anything like that. It's about choosing to see money in a different way. It's about choosing to understand that there is abundance all around you. And they're holding on to, you know, they're holding on to that, that um, existing money without realizing the abundance that comes from being in this connection. Okay, so let's see where we go here. Let's see where this where your, the twin goes. For some of you, if this is resonating with you, what are the blocks here that need to be overcome? Nine of Swords. The Sword of Truth, man. That's what you are, the Sword of Truth here. You are, they're blocking the truth right? And they're just wanting to move ahead. They're blocking the truth. You know, the truth is that love is all around. Abundance is everywhere. This is what the universe is trying to tell them. And they're choosing out of fear. So actions for you here. Actions for you here. You're a great example of this. You're choosing they're choosing to be um, stubborn. They're choosing to be in a mindset where they've got to watch their three little cups, but the universe is offering them so much more in the connection. Okay? You you are this. Two of cups. Two, you are at a crossroads here. Okay? to choose. You're choosing love here. You are abundance. You are all of these things. You are that. And with that choice, they're not seeing that with that choice, they could move into huge abundance. Instead, they're holding on to fear-based uh, financial stream that is very measly. Because that's all they know. They don't know any better. Okay, so you are the sword of truth. You are the sword of truth that says, basically, let go. Let go of that mindset. Let go of that fear-based mindset. That's what's keeping your abundance from flowing. Okay? So, messages to you from this person. Higher self. Tower. They're afraid. You are the soulmate. We know that. They are afraid. Healing. So they're going to overcome this. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> it gets better. So right now, what your job is, is to show them the path of fear or love. That's your job here. Because they are embracing right now the path of fear. And when I say that, I know a lot of you who are not in communication. All right, when I say this about fear or love, that it's not outside themselves. That abundance flows from inside. It's an inside job. You're going to blow their minds. Okay? You're blowing their minds. Six of cups, four of swords, six of wands. Overcoming this situation. They will overcome it. If there's something about healing. There's something about healing. What's, what's healing about the money? Healing about financial resources here. What's that? star. You are the queen of pentacles. <laughs> um, they, they need to think bigger. They're thinking too small. They're thinking too small. You know, if they let go of thinking small, then it opens up for them. So let's see how this unfolds here. You are the star, the wish granted here. They're not seeing this path yet. They're not seeing this path yet. Seven of Swords, escaping. I got Emperor here, uh, World, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this is good. This makes me feel like they are going to overcome it. They are going to escape the situation and take 
charge of their situation. You have to walk away though. All right. You're going to need to, the choice is to walk away from the situation in love in love. Choose love. Choose to act out of love. They will then be able to see through your act here, through your communication, through your actions of what is happening to you. All right. World Ten of Pentacles. They understand that then you are the riches. That's what Jesus talked about. You know, you will have all of the riches of the kingdom of God. It's not just what we use to trade for food and clothing and shelter, which is pentacles, okay? It's not just that, but it is that. It is that included. And choosing that, choosing to flow with that abundance means you can then help other people, right? You, When you have resources beyond your wildest dreams, which is what you're manifesting here, which is what the tw what your job is right now as the enlightened twin. The other twin is getting enlightened. They're going to follow you on this path of abundance. But only if you walk the path of abundance. That's why the universe is telling you to choose to get your financial house in order, to choose abundance, to stop focusing on what they're going to do and instead prove through love, choose love, show the, show the abundance, show them, show them the abundance. Oh darn. I need to get my, hold on. I need to get my other deck here. I know, a lot of walking around today. Okay. So, choosing the self, choosing to be loving to self, choosing abundance, choosing love versus fear. Okay? Choosing that. Guidance to you from the romance angels here. Ugh, unrequited love. New love. Finances and career. Some of you here, soulmate, okay. So some of you, some of you are choosing, going to choose, because I feel like for some of you, whoever this is resonating for, this might be a really small portion of twins. They love their money. The existing small trickle of, I want to, I'm not even going to call it abundance. For some of them, they are unable to get out of this fear mindset. OK, for some of them, they are just unable to do that. They stay addicted. They stay in the low vibration. This is very low vibe for some of them. They're staying there. OK, your job is to, you know, allow for free will, allow for them to do this. They are unrequited love. They are not choosing love because of finances and career <laughs> because of that the money and the stability as they see it, okay, is what they're choosing. But here's the thing. They are going to, as you go, okay, and you move on, they will overcome this because they will see your example, new love soulmate. So they could completely transform through your, through your um, example but for some of you, I'm seeing a new person. Okay? I'm seeing a new person who is more highly evolved, who gets the message, who gets abundance, who gets the more on level. So I see this uh, vision all the time of you, the evolved twins, sort of in a, in a balloon. Like at the end of Wizard of Oz, okay? When, when, when um, the wizard gets in the balloon and he's like, why won't this thing work? And it starts to go away. And Dorothy's like, don't go, don't go. And they hold on to him as long as they can. And then he goes. And what that means is that you are getting higher and higher and higher in the vibration. And you can only be connected so long before those hands pull apart. If they don't ascend, if they don't listen to what's going on, Okay, if they don't hear the call, 
If they're not hearing the call, if they're not hearing the clarion call of what is spiritually happening right now, if they are ignoring it and they're looking more to their very low vibe stuff, addictions to whatever, okay? And they're looking more to, you are the clarion call here too. It's not just the universe, well, just the universe. It's not only that, solely in dreams, things happening, things coming to them. The truth, the sword of truth. If they're not listening to that, they're, you're going to float away. Okay? You're going to float away. Because you are doing it. You are listening. And this is when the universe sends in someone of higher vibration. Very, very similar to your twin vibration. Very similar. As similar as you can get without it being the real person. So if this person chooses to sort of let go of that, there is a new person that comes in, in high vibration, to basically take up that connection. So you may move off to this new person, and as always, the twin will come around. The twin will come back. Once they have listened to the message. For some of you, a very small portion of you, um, the twin won't be able to do it because we have free will. You know that, right? So if the twin isn't able to do it, this happens. And only, only, any of this only happens when you choose to act out of love and choose to be loving to self. Otherwise, you're staying in low vibration. That's really, it's very simple. You're either choosing love, choosing to be loving to self, always choosing yourself. So in situations when um, you, have a, you have a choice every day, every single day, to be mindful in your decisions, to be in the place of, should I choose grapes and papaya and avocados, or should I choose um, highly processed foods, right? That's a choice. Should I choose to um, listen, listen to people? Should I choose to open myself up? Should I choose to, should I choose to, right? All of these things. Um, people say that those empaths, which most of you are who are listening to this, um, have a strong back and a soft belly, right? And wouldn't change that for the world. But what you need to do is see the difference between giving too much of yourself, that's not being loving to self, if you're able to give of yourself and fill your cup, then you're balanced. This is the path of ascendancy. This is the choice right now. Are you choosing love versus fear? What Are you choosing love? Every day, in all the small decisions you make. And is that you, the old way of doing things sometimes is you think it's love because that's what you've been trained to believe. Retrain yourself about what is truly loving. What is truly loving? Is it truly loving to um, do everything for another person so they become handicapped in the world? No. You may think that's loving because that's, how you view parenting or whatever, it's not. That person then becomes handicapped for the rest of their lives. So all of these decisions you're making every single day impact on being choosing love or fear. Choose love.